All right, we're going to get straight to the point to these cage clinch transitions. The offensive fighter has the double under position. That is also the same animation as the body lock high takedown that a lot of people tend to struggle with, which I'll get to later. We have option for a free break or transitioning to a single leg to kind of confuse your opponent. And then you also have the regular double leg, which can be denied by going R2 and down. The person on the defensive end, they generally have the over under transition, and sometimes they have the guillotine. Most of the jiu-jitsu specialists also have a kimura. Now, what I'm showing you here is that wherever your over under transition is for the defensive fighter, that is where you need to deny to deny the body lock high. And if you need to deny the double under, it's the same exact thing. So wherever your over under transition is for the defensive fighter, that's where you have to go. Now for the single leg, all you have to do is go opposite of where your over under transition is and you will deny that transition. Now, on the case of if you get into the single leg position, I'm going to show you how to deny here. Same concept applies, double under and body lock high are the same placement as your over under transition. And then if they try to revert back to the double leg by tapping at the leg, it's going to be the same way as if you were had to deny the single leg in the opposite position. Basically, opposite of where your over under transition is. So you see this? When you see Aldo fishing for underhooks here, wherever that transition is, that is where you have to deny the double under from the single leg transition. I'm gonna go for it. Now they try to go for the double leg. To transition to the double leg, it's the opposite of where your over under transition is. For the offensive fighter, if you see your opponent trying to get a wizard in and limp leg out that is the break animation they're trying to do so you just have to deny up to deny that and if they try to transition to over under by fishing in the underhooks you just have to deny to where your double under position will be definitely replay that so you kinda get like the gist of how that all works it's very complicated at first then you realize it's really simple Now. One key thing I want you guys to realize, fakes do not generate grapple advantage. Fakes do not generate grapple advantage. So if you see somebody faking a lot, you're not gonna get they're not gonna get grapple advantage unless you miss time your denial. For as long as the animation is active, that is your window to deny. So keep that in mind. If the person on the defensive end is going for a Kimura, it's going to be where the offensive fighter's single leg transition will be. So opposite of where your double under slash body lock position would be. And if they were to try to go for the guillotine and be denying that would be R2 and down. Now we're going to transition over here to double under. If you notice something, the tie clinch right here, where they go to left or right, is the exact same animation. And for the defensive fighter, the over-under transition is going to be left to right with the exact same animation. See that? So if you would want to, if you're in a double-under position, whether you're the offensive fighter or the defensive fighter, because these animations are the same, whether you deny left or right, it's going to deny that transition. See that? Every time all those guys pummel in. Now here. In the double under position, if you have transition to the single leg, it will take you back down to that position. To, or if you have transition to the double leg, it will take you back down to this double leg cage transition. If they fully commit, then they will take you down to the ground. Which you can deny by just going by the regular R2 and down denial. One thing you guys are going to notice is that over under, when you guys get to this position, the transitions are on the same side. For both the offensive and defensive fighter so if frankie were to try to go to double under from here i'd have to deny to the left if i'm aldo if i'm edgar and i see aldo trying to transition to double under then i just have to deny to the left if they try to break against the offensive fighter here if i'm the defensive fighter and they try to break he's going to try to push up and you can deny that by going r2 and up so right here when you see frankie pummeling in here using his right arm 
I just have the knight to the left, and it'll deny stop that transition. Single collar right here. When he's pulling back to try to work in that single collar tie with inside control, you just have the knight to the right. Now, going back to the single collar position. If the defensive fighter is going to try to go over under, notice that the transitions are on the same side, you just have the knight to the left. If the defensive fighter is trying to go to the tie clinch, you have the knight to the right. If the offensive fighter, the one that has you pressed up against the cage, is trying to go to the tie clinch, you're going to see that he tries to sneak in his hand there to get a double collar tie on your head, you just have the knight to the right. He tries to go over under, you just have the knight to the left. That little grappling HUD is your best way to figure out how to deny transitions. Now, if I'm the defensive fighter and I have my opponent in the tie clinch, I'm actually get him to this position. Because those animations are the same, I just have to deny left or right, and it doesn't matter. I will deny it. Notice that exact same animation. So I just have to go left or right. And it will deny. See that the fend pops up on both sides. And now if he tries to break, you notice he's trying to push up on the elbows. It's going to tell you R2 and up to defend that transition to stop them from breaking. This would be a good way to drain somebody's stamina. If he tries to go to a single leg from here, which a lot of good players would do, that's how they would get a free break. You can stop that from happening by just going R2 and down to deny that transition. Now we're going to slowly transition to the double under position from the defensive fighter's end. This is a good position, especially if you have the better clinch grapple stat. Because this is, by far, the stalemate position. And the reason I call this the stalemate position is that aside from a few takedowns, as you saw, like Aldo has like the inside trip from there. Those can Every single takedown from these positions can be denied with R2 and down. So... So don't even worry about any of the other animations. Any animation that's different from either the back clinch or the over under transition that Frankie has, that's going to be the way to deny. You just have to go left or right. It does not matter. As long as you don't try to go up and down, you will be fine. And this would be the quickest way for you to ever get a break. That's literally it for the cage clinch transitions. I can get more in depth on each kind of different takedown from those said positions but that's really something you can kind of figure out by using common sense like hey if this isn't this transition i will deny it by going r2 and down and i will be safe now the next up for the third clinch video will be denying the submissions from the clinch that everybody seems to struggle with i'll get to that video shortly it's romero 17 i am out of here